Have you ever wondered what it's like to be an astrophysicist? Well, come to work with me and find out. Hey, Space Cats, I'm Dr. Angie Liu, and I'm an astrophysicist at the University of Nottingham. In this week's video, you're coming to work with me, so let's go. My morning starts at 6am. I live in Coventry, the centre of the UK, but it's an hour drive of 50 miles just to get to university. But it's worth it if that means I get a good work-life balance and get to be around my family and friends. Say it with me, work is not everything. Usually I work from home three days a week, so it's not that bad. I can use my parking vouchers, which saves me so much money. But it does mean that I lose two hours a day, if not more. Leaving the house at seven, I'll get into the car park at eight. Any later than this, and I could be stuck in traffic for two hours. My office is in the main physics building on the third floor. Actually, this used to be physics and maths before math moved out. And if you follow my posts, you'll also know it's home to the Einstein blackboard, signed by the man himself. Just two are in existence in the entire world. Everyone is always excited about that. But to be honest, I kind of prefer my display of prominent female scientists. The morning starts with daily tasks of emails and archive, exactly as you've seen in my routine at ESA. Archive is the go-to for all the latest research publications and new articles are released every day on there. So it's second nature for me to check this the first thing in the morning. At 10.30, I take a quick coffee break. Today, I'm lucky as my colleague, Dr. Laura Batelli, is joining me and filling me in on her latest frustrations with academia. Not everyone is lucky enough to get a permanent position. Some of my collaborators were in their mid-50s before they secured a tenure position. But it's also not all roses up there. The further up the ladder you climb, the more responsibilities that it comes with. Which brings me to the next part that I stupidly forgot to record, but it's a marketing meeting. I have no idea why I'm involved in marketing. I've never had any marketing training before in my life, but I guess I can learn on the job. And this reminds me of earlier in the week where I attended a free day international partners meeting. I, again, have no international relationship experience, but I guess the university thinks that I can entertain delegates. And to be honest, I didn't do too bad. It makes for a nice change too. Anyway, my point is, you become less of a researcher the higher up you get. A professor rarely has time for research. It's all admin, and all the research is done by the students and the postdocs. Back in the office, whenever I have a few moments free, I'll squeeze in some time for a bit of coding. That's right, a real astronomer rarely looks at the night sky, but more likely just writes code and papers. Today, I'm coding some bits for tracking worms with machine learning. Eventually, I'll be studying these worms in microgravity conditions, which is pretty cool. Now, in my lunch break, I'll take some time to admire our awards display, dreaming of the day that I'll get the YouTube plaque, as we have with deep sky videos and 60 symbols. I'll typically try to squeeze in a walk, try and get those 10,000 daily steps in. And this is easy because the campus of Nottingham is absolutely stunning. Then I will head to the computer labs where I'm running a workshop. What does this involve? Well, typically it's just walking around, helping students on the coding exercises that we've set them. I break up the day with another coffee break. It's kind of convenient that we have a Starbucks on campus and only a few minutes walk away, but I guess it can be seen as dangerous too. My regular is a tall caramel macchiato to go. I'll take it back to the office where I'm preparing my lecture. Today's lecture is on interpretable machine learning and it goes pretty smoothly. After the guaranteed questions from students that stay after the lecture, it's a wrap and I can end my work day, just an hour drive back home and relax. That's all for this week's video. Thank you to my YouTube Perks members for supporting. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe. Bye.